may peace be on all of you myself dr majid khan associate professor loknete dr jd power college of pharmacy manur kalwan i will i welcome you in lecture 2 of sulfonamide in lecture 1 we were discuss about the history classification and sar of sulfonamide now in this lecture 2 we will discuss about the mechanism of action bacterial resistance importance of pk value now let us start the learning outcome of this topic after completion of this topic student able to understand mechanism of action of sulfonamide understand the bacterial resistance to sulfonamide and understand the importance of pk value in development of new sulfonamide now mechanism of action so in bacteria and protozoa folate enzyme biosynthesized from paba and pteridine diphosphate in human being folate enzyme are biosynthesized from dietary folic acid so in bacteria and protozoa paba that is para amino benzoic acid is added in is added in pteridine diphosphate to form dihydropteroic acid and the enzyme involved in in this reaction is dihydropteroid synthase so it is the enzyme and the product of first reaction is dihydropteroic acid then this dihydropteroic acid is converted into dihydrofolic acid and this dihydrofolic acid is converted into tetrahydrofolic acid by the enzyme dihydrofolate reductase so in this diagram so which show formation of dihydrofolic sorry tetra dihydrofolic acid and tetrahydrofolic acid so here the starting material is dihydropteroic acid then dihydrofolic acid form then tetrahydrofolic acid is formed two key enzyme here dihydropteroid synthase and dihydrofolate reductase now see how this reaction is taken place so in this reaction starting material pteridine diphosphate this one is pteridine diphosphate this one is paba para amino benzoic acid so in first step there is a lone pair of nitrogen of paba attached to this carbon as shown by arrow to form the dihydropteroic acid so here there is a paba is attached to form dihydropteroic acid then in this dihydropteroic acid glutamine is added and removal of water molecule so hydrogen is removed from nh2 and oh is removed from this carboxylic group to form dihydrofolic acid then this dihydrofolic acid converted into tetrahydrofolic acid by the enzyme dihydrofolate reductase enzyme so here only there is a reduction this double bond reduce into the single bond so formation of tetrahydrofolic acid the key so this so in this reaction there is a tetrahydrofolic acid form which is a intermediate of several biosynthetic pathway the key reaction involving folate coenzyme is conversion of dump to dtmp dump means deoxyuridine monophosphate dtmp means deoxythymidine monophosphate the enzyme catalyze this reaction is thymidyl synthase so in this reaction dump is converted into tmp by methylation reaction so you see the difference between this two structure only the difference is this methyl group tmp contain this methyl group so it is a methylation reaction and for this methylation reaction methyl group is 
supplied by this folate coenzyme so this folate coenzyme supply methyl group and conversion of dmp into tmp taken place so it is a normal reaction or it is important reaction in case of bacteria now sulfonamide are the structural analog of paba means sulfonamide having structural similarity with paba and the sulfonamide competitively inhibit action of dihydrotyroid synthesis synthesis and prevent the addition of paba to pteridine diphosphate and blocking the synthesis of tetrahydrofolate due to this inhibition the key reaction that is conversion of dmp to dtmp is inhibited and this action arrest bacterial growth and cell division of bacteria the competitive competitive nature of sulfonamide action means that drug do not cause permanent damage to bacteria hence to maintain at minimum effective concentration to arrest growth of bacteria long enough for the host immune system trimethoprim it is a drug which is a inhibitor of dihydrofolate reductase which is necessary to convert dihydrofolic acid into tetrahydrofolic acid and bacteria trimethoprim does not have high affinity for material protozoan folate reductase but it does have high affinity for bacterial folate reductase the reverse situation exists for the anti malarial drug pyrimethamine trimethoprim does have some affinity for human folate reductase and this is the cause of some toxic effect of the drug now bacterial resistance wide and non selective use of sulfur drug leads to the development of drug resistance drug resistance first seen in nigeria gonori and then rapidly develop in the variety of streptococcal pneumolytic streptococcal meningococcal species bacteria bacterial resistance developed due to mutation process the bacterial resistance is developed by the following mechanism first mechanism by increase production of paba in bacterial cell second increase the ability of bacterial cell to destroy or inactivate sulfur drug third production of sulfur drug antagonist by the bacterial cell fourth decrease bacterial permeability to sulfur drug fifth production of an altered dihydrofolate reductase enzyme the development of drug resistance limits the therapeutic efficacy of drug if a microorganism is resistant to one sulfonamide it develop resistance against all sulfonamide similarly the sulfonamide sensitive species may develop drug resistance when it come in contact with resistant bacterial species the use of trimethoprim with sulfamethoxazole may reduce development of resistance to sulfur drug now importance of pk value in development of sulfonamide so the functional group that differ in sulfonamide and paba is carboxylic acid of paba and sulfonamide moiety of sulfanilamide as you seen in this two structure the pk value of sulf sulfanilamide is 10.4 and pk value of paba is 6.5 the strong electron withdrawing character of aromatic sulfonamide group make the nitrogen atom to which it is directly attached partially electron positive this in turn increase the acidity of hydrogen attached to nitrogen so that this functional group is slightly acidic and therefore pk value is 10.4 in case of paba due to strong withdrawing character of carboxylic group pk value is 6.5 it was found that a replacement of nh2 hydrogen by electron withdrawing heteroaromatic ring causes not only increase in antimicrobial activity 
but also greatly increase the acidity of remaining hydrogen and dramatically increase potency with suitable group in place the pk came down to the same range as that of paba itself so pk value also affect the solubility so pk value means it is the ph at which the 50% drug is in ionized form and 50% drug is in unionized form so obviously unless the ph is above the pk of drug then it is soluble in ionized form but in case of bacterial infection the ph of urine is low usually 6 and thus all of sulfonylamide is in insoluble non ionized form in the kidney so as shown in this uh, diagram it is a pk value 10.4 of sulfonamide if the ph of urine is more than pk value then the all the drug are highly in highly water soluble salt form on the other hand if the ph of urine below the pk value which normal which generally occur in bacterial infection so the ph of urine is less than pk value then the almost all drug in poorly water soluble ionized form so the older sulfonylamide which having pk value 10.4 it is available in poorly water soluble form ionized form and therefore it leads to crystal urea so as we know the equation this equation is used to calculate the pk value of drug so according to this equation following point is come out that is first point is if ph of urine equal to pk of drug then this ratio that is ionized versus unionized is equal to 1 second point if pk of drug is more than ph of urine then the ratio is more than 1 and solubility decreases third point if pk of drug is less than ph of urine then the ratio is more than 1 and there is a increase in water solubility fourth point ph of urine is about 6 not usually in bacterial infection then this sulfonamide which having pk value 10.4 present in unionized form decrease water solubility which leads to crystal urea so it is it is the mechanism why crystal urea is occur in case of older sulfonylamide now to avoid this crystal urea following approaches is used to avoid crystal urea so the first approach used is by increasing urine flow the patient on sulfa therapy should drink large amount of water the idea was if glomerular filtration rate could be increased there is less chances of seed crystal to form in a renal tubule then the second approach that is use of combination therapy that is triple therapy so mixing of different sulfonamide to achieve appropriate total dose the solubility of sulfonamide independent to each other and more of mixture of sulfonylamide can stay in water solution at a given ph than a single sulfonamide hence try sulfa pyrimidine usp which consist of three sulfa drug that is a mixture of sulfa diazine sulfa merazine sulfa methiazine however because the individual agent have sufficient low pk value partially ionized and adequately soluble in the urine providing that at least normal urine flow is maintained patient must be cautioned to maintain normal fluid intake 
for forcing fluid however is no longer necessary the newer semi synthetic sulfonamide possess lower pk value because electron withdrawing heterocyclic ring are attached to nitrogen then the third approach used is by increasing the urine ph by alkanization so by increasing the ph of urine closer to the ph 10.4 more of highly water soluble salt form will be present orally sodium bicarbonate sometime given rise urine ph the bicarbonate was administered before initial dose of sulfanilamide and prior to each successive dose then the fourth approach that is by decreasing the pk of drug by preparing the derivative of sulfonamide that have lower pk value that is closer to ph of urine this approach has been taken with virtually all sulfonamide in clinical use today for example new sulfonilamide for example sulfa methazine having pk value 7.4 sulfa merazine having pk value 7.1 sulfa diazine pk value 6.5 sulfa thiazole pk value 6.1 etc so these are the all new sulfa sulfonamide which having lower pk value or which having the pk value near to paba so this new drug having less chances of crystal urea so it is the importance of pk value in sulfonamide so thank you in next video that is in lecture 3 we seen up we will see about the combination sulfonamide that is cotrimoxazole iopac name of important sulfonamide and their uses if you like the video please subscribe the channel thank you thank you very much